You can now conceal and carry in the library. The Michigan Court of Appeals made that ruling Friday, saying only the state has the power to regulate firearms. The decision overturns an injunction issued by the Ingham County Circuit Court, and as Faye Lee reports, the news was a shock to some patrons. Rows of books, computers, some consider this place a family space. I come here with my husband on the weekends, and uh, every once in a while my dad comes with us. That's why the news that people can now openly carry handguns here came as a shock to Morgan Devi. If she sees someone with a weapon... I would just grab my stuff and probably leave. Under the Michigan Firearms and Ammunition Act, only the state has the power to regulate firearms, not local government. The Capitol Area District Library argued they're exempt because they're an authority. The Court of Appeals disagreed. I think we were all disappointed because we thought this was an issue of our, the safety and protection of our patrons, and we thought we had a good case, and obviously we thought we would win. But undoubtedly a victory for Michigan Open Carry, Inc. We feel that everybody in the state of Michigan has more rights because of this. The president says this ruling helps protect against future issues. All sorts of different local governments would start banning firearms, and that was our fear, and that's why we saw it important to pursue this case. Director of Capital Area District Library says she doesn't anticipate any safety problems because of this, and Michigan Open Carry is asking people to not overreact. If their everyday lives involves open carrying, and they happen to be going to a library, then by all means, but don't do anything you wouldn't do otherwise. In Lansing, Faye Lee, Fox 47 News. The judges say the presence of weapons in a library is alarming at a time where, quote, this country has witnessed tragic and horrific mass shootings in places of public gathering, but added they're bound by state law to rule the way they did. The attorney of the Capital Area District Library says they are still deciding if they will appeal the decision in the Supreme Court.